Hey, what's going on guys? I'm back. Just gonna do a quick shave. I mean, I got some products that I love and I just felt like doing a video today. So what am I gonna be shaving with today? Strike Gold Shaves Ike. I have the soap, the aftershave, and I also just got the EDT in. So I'm excited to use this. I just got back from a camping trip with my boys. Oh man, we had such a good time. So it's been about two days, I think, or three days growth. So I'm gonna be using my Merker 34T and I have a Gillette Platinum in there and my Wolf Whiskers brush. Oh, this stuff smells great. Really nice. Just gotta wet the face. I just got off the shower. But how's everyone been? Haven't seen you guys in a while. <laughs> Man, I, I've just been busy, you know. Sometimes, you know, life takes you in different directions. And I've just been focusing on different things. And just really haven't had time to get in front of the camera. I don't know when I'll get in front of the camera again. But I just felt like doing it today. So I'm just going to wet the face clean up all the soap. I usually like to clean up the soap from going into the tub. I mean, I've, I've, I've changed a couple of things as far as how I shave since the last time I've probably uploaded a video. Most of it is the same, but I just scrape it off the tub. I rinse out my soap, put it upside down on a towel to dry out for a day. I always used to do two passes. Lately, I've been doing three. But I don't go against the grain. I go with the grain, cross grain in one direction, and cross grain on the other direction. Usually, if I have to go to work or a meeting, something important, I'll do that. If not, I just do my usual two pass shave going to be taking the boys to soccer today. So I'm not sure if I'm just going to do, I may just do two passes to keep the video short as well. But yeah, I mean, man, it's been a long time since we spoke. But as you can see in the back, I've really cut down on my stuff. I'm, I'm really honing in to what I like. I know what I like, so I'm just not buying stuff like I was when I first got into the hobby. I've sold off, traded a lot of stuff that I've had. So if you see it on my wall back there, that means it's a keeper. It's my wife's little corner. She even got herself a Wolf Whiskers brush and she won't even let me use it. So I haven't used it, but she actually got on the list. She got herself a nice brush, which is right back there. And that's the razor I got her, her other purple brush. Um, there's another razor I want to get her. Thinking about a ladies Gillette or that, I think it's a Parker that looks like the ladies Gillette. And send it off, I think it's, his name is Scott to get it repainted to match her brush. She says she really wants it so. I just need to find a time to find one in really good condition. And that's it, man. But back there, I basically have my turn and shave, my Leo brushes, wolf whiskers. What else? I have one brush run. Brush 
brush guy. Really love the brush. I love the handle. One of the most comfortable handles I have, but I may change out the knot. I just had two brushes that I love get re-knotted. I usually do it myself. Like I know how to do it. I don't mind doing it. But these two brushes I had sent out, I sent them to JR from Ray S Restorations over on Instagram. He's doing my, I actually got a Wolf Whiskers inside out brush from my good friend Abraham. And I have, I wanted nothing to do with re knotting that. I already had the knot out, but I sent it out to JR to properly do it. So I have him doing that for me. And I also sent out my, I think you can see it up there, my Puerto Rican brush. I have the razor in the stand, but that one Leo did for me. And it had a tuxedo knot. Not that there was anything wrong with the knot, but I just wanted to try out Milton's new ghost knot. And I thought it would look badass in that brush. So I had that sent out. But I really like synthetics. I mean, I'm with the exception of a couple of Badger, but I find the synthetics do everything that I needed to do. And my favorite synthetic knot, believe it or not, most people don't really talk about it anymore because they're all into these new knots and colors and stuff, but this baby right here, the Plissot, I mean, this, this is my favorite synthetic knot. If we had this feeling, I've, and I've tried, almost every tuxedo. I wish I can find a tuxedo knot that felt just like this with the amount of backbone or the lack of backbone. I, I just love how it splays, opens up, how it absorbs the soap. This is my, I'll never get rid of this brush right here. It's a little razor rock, great little, great, great little knot. But yeah, cut down on my soap collection quite a bit. Probably down to like 40 or 50 soaps. That was one of my goals for the year. I really haven't bought too much. Picked up a couple of things, but not like I did in 2017 where I was getting two or three mail calls a week. Something I'm really excited about. And that was the bait if I should use the Ike today or, oh man, I just got this in. The Asian Plum. Peter did an amazing job. I mean, I love the scent. I know I saw some of the guys saying that it was too sweet or kind of floral. I don't get that. I get more of the plum and I think there's some coffee in here or tobacco. Oh man, this stuff. If you want soaps that smell really strong and kind of stay with you all day, check out the A&E soaps. And his, um, this is the new, the goat milk. Yeah, this is the goat milk formula. I've never had a soap lather up the way this one has. And I've tried a lot of different soaps, but this is probably I mean, and I'm not a soap expert. I'm not acting like I'm one or I'm not reviewing anything. I'm just giving you my experiences. For me, this is probably one of the best lathering soaps I have right now in my den. And my favorite scent that I own is Chasing the Dragon, which is another soap by Peter. So I may just have to pick it up. He, I have it in the original formula which is great, but I may just have to pick it up in that goat milk.
because he has it in that formula as well, but I don't use it as much because I even want it to finish. I only use it for special occasions, but I may have to use it a lot more. Or just pick it up and put it away. I have to pick up the EDT. I went on the site. I saw the EDT was available. So I may just pick that up as well. For the sake of time, I think I'm just gonna do two passes. But man, what a great shave. I love Ike. I love the scent. I love the formula of the soap. You can see no nicks, no cuts. That's how most of my shades have been going lately. Like I said, I'm just really honing in. Know what I like, I know what works for me. And I'm kind of sticking to it. Every now and then I like to try a new soap. But other than that, there's very little that I want. I think I have everything I need. Oh man, that stuff smells nice. You guys haven't tried it? I don't know. I think it may be sold out. Yeah, I think it's sold out, but I'm gonna. Oh, that's it, man. Ready for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, I did my Mercury 34T. All of my Strike Gold Shades Ikes. Beautiful. Let me just rinse that off. My Wolf Whiskers Timberwolf. That's it, guys. I'll see you guys on the next shave.